The first time F-15 Strike Eagle saw combat was in the skies over the Middle East, during the Operation Desert Storm. Primarily, the F-15s were used to take out mobile Scud missiles and surface-to-air missile sites. On February 14, 1991, when Captains Richard Bennett and Dan Bakke took off they had no clue that when they will land back, they will have one of the most memorable kills under their belts. During their Scud Patrol mission, AWACS instructed the F-15E to target Mi-24 hind gunships that were close to a U.S. Special Forces operation. According to one of the pilots, while they were closing in and getting ready to strike, the F-15's radar became sporadic and they couldn't get a missile lock on the targets. Meanwhile, the hinds began to accelerate fast. In this complex situation, Baki needed to think fast. In the nick of time, he decided to go for a ground attack. Since he could only see the rotors, using his Lantern pod, by the help of ground targeting system used by the F-15, Baki used a laser-guided, 2,000-pound GBU-10 bomb on the helicopter as it began to lift off. They kept the F-15's laser pointed at the helicopter, continuing to guide the bomb. The bomb went through the rotors and the cockpit, its fuse delay exploding the munitions underneath the hind, completely disintegrating the helicopter. After witnessing this shocking episode the other helicopters took the escape route, meantime more U.S. air cover came in to protect the ground forces. An American Special Forces team on the ground observed the unlikely aerial kill. Also, the attack showed how devastating this fighter could be, 